So Freddie knew that you kind of were wanting your own car, that the Lexus was a little too loud. So he said uh, just moments ago that the car we've been building and fighting and I couldn't send you pictures of is for you. There you go. Wow, it's for real? Yep. For real. What? <laughs> Are you serious? What do you think of it? So if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. And consider subscribing if these are the kinds of projects and cars you like to see. Now, if you're new to the series, I took a car that I bought for $600, a running and driving BMW, and I completely stripped it because it was full of roaches. Now I took it from that very sad and very unsanitary state and I transformed it into this. Now, I can't do this without talking about today's sponsor, me. I'm, I'm today's sponsor, I, did, I don't have any other sponsors. Please buy my merch or something. This was hard to do and it was expensive. But now that we got that out of the way, this car looks amazing. But I don't wanna just show you the finished product because there's no real fun in that. I wanna take you back to a time when this car looked like shit. All right, everybody, welcome to the past, which is the present for me. Hopefully this car looks a lot better in the future. But right now we have the car completely taken apart. We have the front end off, we have the interior completely stripped, and we're gonna go through the process of putting all this back together with brand new parts. And the parts that I got don't look like the stock 525. They look like the M5, which looks fantastic. I love the way that car looks. Not in love with the reliability of that car, but the looks are just iconic. And I believe that we can get this thing looking just as good, if not better. I'm also gonna do some interesting modifications to the headlights and taillights and some other bits and pieces that you'll see in this episode. But one of the things that you guys were asking me in the last episode was what interior am I gonna use? Because I threw out everything there. See, the fun fact about buying a car on Facebook Marketplace for 600 bucks is that you still have a little bit of money left in the account to buy something else. And what I did is I bought a parts car. Look at it, it's a BMW 545i, and this has the interior that I want. And that interior is gonna go right here. That interior is gonna go right here. It usually works a little bit better. Okay, I guess the parts moved around a little bit. So we still need to do a lot of Oh, so I guess I should probably tell you how this happened. All right, now, as things tend to move very quickly in builds like these, I only have a few days to do this entire thing. This car is leaving my shop, but it's not leaving because I'm getting rid of it. It's leaving because it's getting a color change. Now, this is a very budget-friendly build, 
And one of the most budget-friendly things you can do to change the color of your car is wrap it. Now, you can go a little bit cheaper. I mean, you can do a spray bomb of the entire car, but that doesn't look very good. I'm gonna take it to the guys at Window 10Z. They actually did the Car Trek 2 Maserati. I told them to do it as fast as possible just so it looks good on camera, and they did a great job. But they do really, really high-end work. And through the magic of editing, you're gonna see how this car looks in three, two, one. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's one way to change the color. <laughs> All right, so I am at Window Tint Z with Luis and Andreas, and they are changing the color of this car, and it looks freaking awesome. Like, this is a satin blue, and it's, it really is going to pop with the wheels, which are actual M5 wheels. Uh, I am having them redone, but you can see that we already put on the new Michelin rubber there. This is gonna be down to the wire completely, but man, I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna let Luis finish his work here. There's a lot left to do, even though the car is mostly wrapped. We still have to do the roof and the bumpers, the side skirts, and also refinish those wheels. So uh, this is gonna be a, a long night for him, and it's gonna be just a few seconds for you because... And it is all one color, and it's also taken apart a little bit. So we have jumped forward in time just a little bit and now you can really see that this is taking shape i really like this satin blue it's it's sort of darker uh when you get into a certain light and lighter when you get into other lights we also have a gloss black roof and back here this is gonna have a carbon fiber look for the diffuser. I can't wait for that. Now, I just had the wheels sent out to be refinished. Those should be coming in tomorrow. We don't have any interior right now, so there's a lack of interior, and this interior is gonna have to get reinstalled at some point. And also, uh, hey, you. Hello, you needed help, didn't you? I needed a little bit of help, yes, Jared's here. We don't have much time. I only have another day or so before I turn into a pumpkin and this has to get done. And we need to do, actually, what, what do we need to do? We need to do mechanical, yeah, right? There, there's a lot. So I've gotten one of the brakes swapped, the 525, which is about the only good version of this BMW you can buy that you can drive and not worry about. It has very small brakes. Yes. So the 545 has big brakes. So we're moving those over. Those are just bigger brakes. I got brand new pads and rotors, uh, Akibono pads and uh, the Zimmerman rotors that I got from Advanced Auto Parts. And uh, we also are doing all the maintenance. So right here, you'll see that it's, it's a little bit seepy over here. So um, a new valve cover gasket. Usually you'd get like a new valve cover because uh, they come in plastic, but this is aluminum so we don't have to worry about that i have a new expansion tank uh we have oil filter uh Air new filters, oil mm -hmm. yeah oil trans filters and trans fluid coolant uh spark plugs every everything fluid related is getting replaced uh, so this is essentially going to just be a new car like everything is going to be taken care of uh new interior we're going to do some uh new infotainment uh, i have a new steering wheel that you're gonna see that is gonna look really cool this car is gonna look amazing so i think we need to get to work i'm not the biggest fan of interior work so you can keep doing interior work 
Yeah. And I will keep making two into one. Or I guess All right. you both will. We're going to make two into one? Two into one. Can you can you do that uh, pantomime with your hands that you just did again? Two into one. Oh, boy. Or, uh, I, no. I, I need an adult. Go ahead and pump and hold. Down. Ooh. Is there a lot of air in there? Yeah, that was bad for heat tonight. All right, now I know that it doesn't really look like we did much, but we did much. So I put on these door handles and that was very sort of difficult because there were a bunch of little parts that were broken on the inside. It doesn't matter. Now it opens, closes, opens, closes exactly what it's supposed to do. Also, we got these wheels refinished. These are the M5, the OEM wheels. And there was an awesome turnaround with this. Uh, so these, I can't wait to put these on. We have brand new tire pressure sensors. So those are going on with some Michelin PS4S tires. And we also managed to put one of the spacers from that car. Now that car is, well, that car is a little more bare and you'll see that I'm in the process of taking everything out. All we have left is the center console and the B pillars and the carpet. So everything's a little bit dirty, but it will get cleaned by the time it gets in the car. Now I'm not taking out the dashboard because there are slight differences. This is an 04 and the car we're working on is an 07 and the 07 has a start switch that goes right here and this obviously does not have it i don't feel like drilling this out so what i did was i did the next best thing and that was i painted it can you tell that anything was painted on this no you cannot because 
I did a good job. And I'm not the only person who did a good job, but Jared did a great job because he did a lot of work underneath the hood and underneath the car and all that. What'd you do, Jared? Uh, it looks like I did nothing. You didn't do anything. Why? That's, that's the joy of mechanical work. So Why didn't did, you do anything? I did a lot. We did oh. we did spark plugs that were probably the most worn spark plugs I've seen in a very long time. Okay, uh, do let's, you have them? Yeah, let's go grab those. They're over here. Mm -hmm. I made a funny Instagram post. You should follow us. You can see things as they happen. Don't follow me. Follow Jared. Oh. Nobody follow me on Instagram, please. There, There's no tip left. So a new one, which is in should have a, an electrode. This is an iridium, so it gets to a very small point that is very, very close to that hook, and uh, this isn't. Yeah, that, that just isn't. Uh, so. But the car ran, which was very surprising. Yeah, that, that's right. You said it ran with no noticeable misfires or stumbles, which this says no, but imagine how great it's gonna run now. Yeah, now so. it's gonna be like super fast. It's gonna be like a speed demon. It's okay. gonna be the ultimate driving machine. With, with all 225, horsepower at the crank that's that's correct it was new yes <laughs> uh actually 215 but who's counting okay so uh jared also put on the brakes and these brakes and rotors the pads and rotors rather we got from advanced auto parts we also got the valve cover gasket from advanced auto parts this was a little bit weird because usually you'd replace the valve cover itself but only if the valve cover is made of plastic and this one is made out of metal actually uh this is like magnesium isn't it yeah it's magnesium the uh flammable kind of metal yeah so that's that's, that's really the fun, fun kind yeah the fun kind yeah, yeah a lot of fun that's we've got the, our new coolant tank yeah the expansion tank um so this is a wear item uh in a bmw because these have only a certain number of cycles where they can expand and contract this is plastic and what happens is after a while it starts delaminating this is a top part this is a bottom part it starts delaminating and with pressure with a lot of coolant pressure like about 15 psi over many many months uh this can explode and I've seen it explode and it exploded in cars that I've owned and BMWs in particular. So anytime you can just replace these. So this is brand new. Also, we have a brand new uh, air filter, right? Yep, engine air filter, cabin air filters, but they're not in yet because what stopped us is this has a unique to the magnesium valve cover emissions hose that broke. And I think the reason it broke is it's heated. I've not seen it and it may just be because I don't do a lot of BMWs, but it had two wires that uh, heat heat the plastic hose to make it brittle. You're the reason that it broke. Uh, yes. Uh, new transmission pan and fluid, but we can't do the final level set till we get that hose. Yes, but, so uh, uh, we're just waiting on that one hose that's gonna come tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is uh, basically crunch day. Uh, but we're not done with today by a long shot because there should be an interior in there. So I'm gonna work on that. But in the meanwhile, yeah. you can work on the rear of the car. I know you yeah. like to work on rear ends, I, but- I, uh, I, I'm really good with rear ends, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's very, okay, let's I'm, just I'm move I'm good on. at setting pinion depth. Let's just move on. So uh, we have these aftermarket taillights and I got these specifically because they look so baller. They have these LED strips right here and they should be uh, plug and play for our car. So look at look at how this looks. It looks okay, it looks, it looks all right. That's a pretty good upgrade. Yeah, it makes it look a lot more modern. All right, let's get to work. Lots of work.
Hey, Freddy. Freddy. What? What is... What, what did you just say that you've never done before? About airbags? Oh! Air... Uh... That. So, um... Yeah, I've not never, the other thing. Yeah, not the other thing. Uh... I've never blown up an airbag. Which... Which is kind of a shame as a car guy. Now, I'm not gonna say as a car guy you should blow up an airbag if you don't know how. Well, but, I know how you blow up an airbag, but that usually involves crashing the car. Well, there's other ways. And thankfully, I've, I've, I am dealership trained to properly dispose of airbags, and I have prepared a present for you outside. Oh, I'm, I'm scared, but also very intrigued. You shouldn't do this, but 90% of you are male, so you're going to do it. And if you're going to do it... Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't Whatever do it. Do, do, not, do not do this. Do but if you're going to do, do it, do it safely. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even think about doing it. All right, Jared, let's do it. Okay. Well, I thought Freddy was going to do it, but he got nervous, so he just wants to see it happen. Uh, when you're not doing it, never point an airbag down because it will propel itself, and that's extremely dangerous. Yeah, it's going to go... So don't do that. Yeah. So, are you ready? <laughs> you don't have to get that one back. We're doing it right. <laughs> 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 nice. See? All right. Now do you want the other one? No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> so this is what comes out of the door panel. Uh, interesting. Yeah. So when you're hit on a side impact, they have... That one doesn't have, but some cars will have curtain airbags and that airbag to give you that nice air cushion. That one does have it. Oh, so it has both too? So yeah. those come out, so when a truck T-bones you, there's a little bit of extra barrier instead of just sheet metal and leather. This smells like gunpowder. Well, I mean, it is an explosive. That's correct. So. All right, let's run fun. away before the cops come. <laughs>
That is a transformation. This, I, I can't even believe this is the same car. This roach-infested $600 BMW is now a complete showstopper. So uh, this is a lot of work. Uh, yeah, that two-day build turned into a five-day build, but uh, yeah. that's because we build it better. There's a lot of things we could have skipped and just put it together and it would have looked and worked okay but uh no we can't live with that so no i i definitely can't this this car i am very proud that we got this thing done so let's go over everything that we did so first off we have a m5 bumper it's an aftermarket bumper which allows for the fog lights on the inside uh it has a aftermarket set of headlights which are just awesome they have these cool little led uh, angel eyes right there we have the blue wrap a satin dark blue wrap from window tent z they did an awesome job also i got m5 fenders which are slightly wider right here and also have the m5 uh fender grill right there i didn't opt for the m5 badges because this is not an m5 yeah and we're not posers we are not posers <laughs> well maybe a little bit because we have m5 wheels those are oem wheels that were refinished in oem paint also we have 545i brakes so we took the calipers off of the parts car and then we got new akibono pads and new zimmerman rotors from advanced auto parts so those are just as good as oem if not better and they're definitely better than oem in terms of uh brake like stopping distances and all that yeah. well especially for what the car had on it the size improvement and how much bigger it is than the factory 525 was insane oh yeah i mean th these are closer to the m5 brakes and what i wanted to do with this car was a ultimate driving machine now it's not going to have the amount of power that you know an m5 has but it's going to have great handling and it's going to have great braking and Relatability. that handling and reliability yeah. yeah yeah that's that's sort of the point the, right the, the important thing so you can drive not uh, just yeah. tow it to the repair shop drive it for a day and <laughs> tow it back again so. that's right well that's usually the how bmws are so we also got some brand new michelin ps4s tires and we have side skirts from an m5 but the back is not an m5 this is actually an m sport bumper i really don't like when cars that are the not m version or not the ultimate version have the dual exhaust pipes one of them ends up being fake this actually has just one exhaust outlet like it should and it has a carbon look diffuser this was done by window tent z the same time we got the wrap done but we also have a carbon rear lip this looks amazing and it just dude it, it sets it off so well I, I i love you know kind of this is similar to a whale tail i mean maybe more of a dolphin tail because it's not that big but i love the trunk lid spoilers i think that it's just kind of a low-key way to make it aggressive but not over the top yeah and aggressive but not over the top follows right here because we have brand new aftermarket tail lights they have this cool led effect right here and we also put some uh 10 millimeter or t no that's like 20 millimeter yeah spacers. they're like 20 or I, th I actually think those were the 25 millimeter spacers and they're the proper kind with offset bolts so you bolt the spacer on and then the wheel bolts onto it so it brings yeah. the wheel out nice uh i mean you could maybe stick it a little bit more but for a driving car like that's perfect like this is this is really safe. this is really nice so we have very good fitment here uh i undersized the tires by 10 millimeters in the front and rear uh just so we wouldn't get any rubbing uh now we do have a gloss black roof and that looks awesome and coming in here this is the real transformation oh the yeah 
So we have a Dakota Auburn leather interior with sports seats. We didn't have sports seats before. Uh, we have an awesome new steering wheel by AZA Auto Wheel. So check them out in the link in the video description below. They are uh, amazing. They do a lot of really cool wheels. Uh, we have a headliner. You can't really see it now, but the headliner and the A, B, and C pillars are Alcantara. So that was provided to us by uh, J&J Auto Wrecking. Now, they're trying to do a YouTube channel. I've worked with them a lot in the past before, so you can go check them out in the link in the video description. They were a huge help with getting everything we needed because these headliners are really hard to take out without breaking anything, and they took it out without breaking anything. That is is a very big thing to do. So we also have that. That's a new aftermarket shifter to look like the F-Series BMWs. And uh, it has an integrated little light there to tell you what gear you're in. And another aftermarket touch is this guy. This is the aftermarket system with Android and Apple CarPlay and everything you need. It's a touchscreen. It works with the iDrive system. I actually swiped this from the other car because I like the way this knob looked. But take a look at this. Hey, you can see me. Hello. So we have navigation, we have communication, and we can scroll over here. We have unknown song, HD video, car info. And when we press car info, we actually get the stock iDrive, so no functions are left behind. We have all functionality for this car. So we press this again, and we have a dashboard, which is really cool. And the dashboard, oh, take a look at that. So the gauges are orange. They match our orange gauges here. And we have our speedometer, and we have a readout of the RPM, which we definitely have here, but it's kind of cool to see anyway. Now, we also have uh, revamped this entire thing. So my friend Rex from Royal Auto Shield came by, and he removed all the sort of plastic dip rubberized coating on here, and he polished this so it looks like a piano black. Now one thing is we are gonna get a new knob here. The knob was just really mangled, so that is on its way. It's in the mail, but we have new cup holders. Let's see, does that work? They're aftermarket, so. There we go. So one cup holder and we have another one which is OEM. So we have two working cup holders. And if you notice, we have a dash that is completely black. This is the stock dash, used to be tan right here, but this was converted using black spray paint. I got it at Advanced Auto Parts and open up and we have a BMW manual. So this is like a real car, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, it's like a real car that you would drive every day and it's in good shape and it's in good condition. I, I am so, so, so impressed. Also, we use the manual shift gate from the other car just to make this a little bit nicer. Also, taking a look back here, there used to be roaches and stuff back here. Now there's no roaches. And this was completely taken out of the other parts car. So underneath here, we have a space saver spare. It's not a full size spare, but we have everything that we need to change it and we have not a full toolkit, but a full enough toolkit with a first aid kit, some extra fuses and a tow hook. This car is not gonna need a tow hook though. Hopefully it's, not. No, definitely not. This car is very, 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 very reliable now. Also, there's a place in here where you can hide uh, your, your, your stuff. Your other roaches? Your other roaches. That's where you hide your other roaches. Guys, take a look at those taillights. They look insane. Wow. And I can't believe this was a car on a budget, but the most that we did, well, not the most, but one of the most important parts of this car is underneath here. And we have a very clean engine bay, very sorted. Take a look at those angel eyes. Ooh. We're kind of under angel eyes. Yeah, they're, well, they're, yeah, they're like angel bags, really. <laughs> they look amazing. Like to me, angel eyes have been done too much. This is a really cool new, Thing I've not seen before that I think looks amazing. Yep, yep. So uh, we got a new coolant expansion tank uh, from Advance Auto, everything we got from Advance Auto, and I will be linking everything in the video description below. Uh, if you use my code Tavars2020, you can get 25% off. So 
just putting that out there, I think it could help a lot of people. So we did a valve cover gasket. We did all six spark plugs. All the filters. Uh, we also did, we didn't film it all because it was boring. Yeah. Uh, the oil separator that's under the intake, intake manifold gaskets, oil tower gasket, oil cooler gasket, drive belts, uh, a lot. You gave me a lot of parts, and I did a lot of things. Yeah. And fluids and and yeah. all that. And, and when uh, it's all done, it looks the same, but a little clean. It looks, it looks stock, and it runs awesome. So uh, actually, I don't really know how it runs, um, and I am very, very keen to take this on a test drive. But before we do that, I haven't told you why I was building this, right? Uh, you suddenly liked BMWs. So that's not true. I don't suddenly like BMWs. I still don't like BMWs all that much, but this thing is really kind of turning me around. I love the shape of this car, but having said that, I got, I got too many cars, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this car away, and I think I know who to give it to. Uh, and I would like to uh, give it to your wife because she really? needs yes. Well, that's a, it's the right engine to give to her. But like, <laughs> if, if you're like, here's an M5, I'll be like, thanks. But man, that's that's actually really cool because she's she loves the Lexus, the ISF. Yeah. Um, really does enjoy it, except it's a little shouty. Yeah. Um, so for, for those of you who don't know, um, so. Jared has been wrenching away on this channel for a very long time. Uh, and every time he's down here, he uses uh, one of his uh, two essentially usable cars. He has uh, an Lexus ISF that has 200,000 miles on it. Uh, it still runs great, but uh, it is kind of loud. Um, it's not the most practical thing in the world. Uh, it doesn't have any cup holders. No, uh, well, if you open the glove box, there's two little round spots that you could theoretically put. Cups. There's no cup holders <laughs> in that car. So um, he takes that down or he takes that truck down. Yeah. Um, so that while has he's 16 cup holders, that has 16 cup holders. So he's hoarding all the cups. Uh, now, when he's down with that, his wife just drives his other car and his wife doesn't have a car of her own. So I think we can change that today. Um, so what I'd like you to do, I'd, I'd kind of like to let her know because we, she's kind of been hinting that she wants her own car. So, uh, well, I think we should see what she says. Yeah. Let me, let me call her. Let's call her. All right. Jared is calling his wife right now and he's basically asking her if, uh, she could give her opinion of this car, but she doesn't know that she's about to get this car. So let's, let's see if she picks up. What if some dude picked up? Would you be mad? So I said we needed to get your opinion of a build, but it's actually an opinion of your new car. So Freddie knew that you kind of were wanting your own car, that the Lexus was a little too loud. So he said uh, just moments ago that the car we've been building and fighting and I couldn't send you pictures of is for you. Holy cow. So sorry. You, why? I, I'm sorry. I, I just saw Merry Christmas, Emily. Oh my God, that's amazing. Why don't you? Okay. Why don't you show so you ready to see it? I am. Okay. It's, what is it? I'm very concerned now. Actually. You're very concerned. <laughs> no, he. It, it is a very good gift and a good car. So. Move that bus. Okay. So here's Freddie. Hello. Hi, Freddie. Okay. okay. There. No, that's, that's not a it. Dumpster. That's a dumpster. There you go. Wow. For real? Yeah. For real. What? <laughs> Are you serious? What do you think of it? Here, let me. Here, are you serious? No, that is yours. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. So it's a five Jerry. series, five series BMW 2007. It's the 525, which means it has the most reliable of all the BMW engines. I, um. <laughs> that that we have gone through and replaced it. It has the M5 front bumper. It has, what do you think of the headlights? Well, I like those a lot, actually. <laughs> that's, that's nice, what color is that? So that is a satin blue wrap, and uh, it's, a, it's a darkish blue. 
Uh, we also got, I mean, we got new stuff for everything. Yeah. Um, we got new wheels, new tires, brakes, uh, it's the body got, kit. Yeah, it's got big brakes on it from uh, the big V8. Oh my God. This is for real. Like, this yeah. is for real. Yeah, no, it's your car. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm having a hard time right now. <laughs> no, it's for real. So that's why he was telling me I couldn't send you any pictures of what we were working on is uh, because it was your car. Well, I just, I just figured it was another one of those. Well, if I sent you a picture, you'd probably forget. Oh, no. Yeah. No, what do you think of the interior? Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. It's it's one of the rarer colors. Um, and... You have a real nice, beautiful steering wheel. Yeah, brand new steering wheel. Uh, we replaced everything in the interior. Yeah. And uh, we got a new radio um, that has, uh, you know, Android Auto and uh, Bluetooth and all that stuff. Yeah, this is insane. I don't what. I'm and sorry. it has two. <laughs> you also have two cup holders. Here. Yeah. Um, let, let me reach through. Uh, 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 oh, oh. So this is this is Jared reaching to I'm get sorry. cup holders. Wait, open. There we go. There's one of them. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just so happy to have two cup holders. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? I, I'm in love with it. I absolutely, I can't, I still can't believe it. Like, I'm just kind of, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm crying. This is just insane. I, wow. Well, enjoy it. Um, it, it came from a lot of love from uh, from both of us. Uh, more from Jared. He, yeah. he sweats it out a lot. Uh, <laughs> but, um, well, I'm, I'm glad you like it. But that, uh, me and you have been talking, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, this isn't the only surprise that I have. So, Jared. Yeah? Um, I didn't just get a car for Emily. Okay. I got a car for you as well. Okay. Okay. I actually got two. You got two? Yes. Is it the white one inside? It's not the white one inside, no. I got you two cars. Two cars. And I know you like them. Okay. Okay. So, your car is that one. The Titan? Yes. What do you mean? It's paid off. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so is the ISF. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that why she was asking mm -hmm. extra questions? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So don't worry about it and have a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> Whew. Oh, Thank Emily, you, you got to see him. <laughs> you got to see yeah. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Yeah. So, dude, you've been you've been doing a lot of work for uh, you know for the channel and wrench every day. And Emily and I have been talking. I had to get her number from uh, Dwayne, our uh, <laughs> editor, yeah. which is uh, Emily's dad. So uh, we were kind of like, I, I I wanted to make it so you didn't know anything. Completely um, conspiring against me. Yeah, but. Um, it in a good way. Yeah, in a, in a good way. Hopefully, hopefully you understand. Hopefully yeah. you're not uh, too, too put off by it. Uh, Going but, behind my back to get my wife's phone number. Yes, yes. It's <laughs> it, listen. It could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, okay, I think I think that's going to yeah. be it. We we start anew uh, with this with yeah. uh, a lot less debt. You don't have any car debt. It's all taken care of. Uh, so we can we can start. You know. House start, shopping in Florida to house shopping. Start we, you can do day. whatever you want. You can. Yeah. How about this? You you get two other car payments now. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it'll just be a house payment, so that way uh, yeah. everyone gets a lot more videos. Yes, and, I, think, uh, I think that'll be that'll be good. I get to um, sweat a whole lot more. Yes. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, in the next yeah. episode, we are going to be taking it on a uh, test drive, seeing if there's anything wrong with it. I don't think there is, but uh, you know, these little things sometimes need troubleshooting. But I am very, very happy that we got this thing uh, off the ground and looking as good as it does. But until next time, this is me reminding you guys that on projects like these that look freaking amazing, you guys need to build it better, and to do that, you got to wrench every day. Every day. We did a lot of wrenching this <laughs> Every day. <laughs> a lot.